So it's Ross on the left, Valgear in the middle, and the nearest to you, that is Steve Kerr the American. He is off to a great pace. That's 35 meters down, 35 meters back. You just have to break the plane. That's exactly what Steve Kerr did. He had a real nice turn, Todd. And a great pace here. He looks real smooth and his grip seems to be holding. Trying to set the pace to beat for the second heat. That's 265 pounds in each hand. Glenn Ross having some problems. Steve Kieran almost off track. He has to set and regrip. All three of these guys are set down. They're in complete fatigue throughout their body. The grip is what went first. Steve makes it over the line. Jean Valguer of Iceland really struggling with just about two meters to go. And Glenn Ross in the back of your picture. Now, if he doesn't complete the course, which Valguer just does, you'll get credit for distance. And that's what Glenn Ross is looking at with a 75 second time limit fast approaching. Besides carrying those heavy anvils, Glenn's also carrying 450 pounds of body weight. And time runs out for the big man from Ireland but it's Steve Kierrett who sets the early time to beat. The train pole always a sight to behold, but we are back at the Royal Livingston for the rest of the farmer's walk. This is our second heat, and this is Vetus Placitis in lane number one from Lithuania. We don't know much about Vetus. We'll have to see how he can do. In lane number two from the Ukraine, this is Vasil Virusti. Ukrainian shot putter. He's quite an athlete. And we know this guy oh too well. This is Hugo Gerard, quite possibly the strongest man in all of North America, Kaz. Do you think this is his year? It could be. He looks power packed this year. Ready! That's 265 pounds in each hand. They have to go down the course, 35 meters, turn, and come back. The time to beat, 47.88, put up by American Steve Carrick. This is really a blistering pace, Todd. As they are on pace for just over 26 seconds, and look at Blakaitis. Virastuk is way out in the lead. It's easy for him. And it's Virastuk who just dominates the field. Hugo Gerard will get second overall, and Blakaitis will bring up the rear with a very fast time of 35.97. So one, two, and three in heat number two. Your winner, Vasil Virastuk. We saw the seal spread out to an early lead and make a strong turn and leave veteran strongman Hugo Gerard in his dust. In a small surprise, Vasil Vitterstuk wins the farmer's walk. Hugo Gerard, a solid showing for second. Vitas Plakaitis was third. Steve Kirt won his heat, but his time was only good enough for fourth place.